I know you like that. Everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I know you love the intro because it's gonna stick for a while, so let's get used to it. So today we're gonna be doing a story time. Mm-hmm. Story time of how I was born petty from the womb, or I was conceived as a petty child from beginning. So we're gonna be doing going down memory lane. Memory lane. Oh Jesus, English is hard. So I'm gonna tell you a story about how I don't know. Yeah, I was. I don't even know if. Okay, so it started off. When I was in primary one, I attended the school called Staff Nursery on primary school. Shout out to my viewers if you're from there or you heard about the school or you asked when they went to the school. Like, hey, hey, hey shout out to you. Subscribe now. Support your sister. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. When I was in primary one, I think that's like, um, is that first grade? So, I was in primary one and I had this friend called Easy. I don't know. She entered university. Auntie wants to do posh, posh babes, posh babes teens. I said her name is Winnie Fred. I don't know who gave out Winifred. I'm just joking. That's her middle name. But her name is her name is Easy. She goes by Winifred, and she has a very beautiful YouTube channel called Rare's Beautiful. You guys should totally check her out. And if I'm talking too fast, I'm sorry. Is I was born this way, baby. I was born this way. So uh, my friend Easy, her, me and her, everything we got along when we first met each other. But we were always butting heads because she wanted to control me and. I didn't want to be controlled. Basically, we're in primary one, right? And her mom was based in America. So, it, it, you know, like, okay, your mom is in America. It's not shocking. You, sorry, I'll be, doing, I'll be doing accent changes. Your mom is in America. It's not shocking. You're acting like, oh, my mom is in America. I'm above everybody. Da, 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 da. Like, it's in the boss, the gay brains. Da, da, da. She was like, okay, I'm in America. Da, 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 da. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, her mom's in America. She always makes us feel like, okay, mom's in America. It's like, she just felt special. Her mom bought her this transparent orange bag, like neon orange bag. And it's like, it was so cool then. Like, when I think about it now, it's not really that cool. Like, if I see that bag, I still see that bag when I go shopping. I mean, I saw it in Forever 21. She was feeling like, oh, she's on top of the world. Like, she's above us. Like, she got a bag straight from America. We're buying a bag from Nigeria. I mean, first of all, our bags probably came from China. So, at least our bags came from somewhere. It's not like we just, like, just just went to Nigeria. So, it's like, we still had international things. So, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, but her, she felt special because it was America. And then there's always this hype about America, 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 whatever. But... So she came to school that day and she was like feeling herself, like showing off her bag. Like everybody wanted to be around her. It's like, my God, when you have something new and it's flashy, everybody wants to be around you. Everybody, everybody wants to be your friend. So she was like flashing her bag and she was like, everybody was around her. And I'm like, okay, she's my friend. But I wasn't like, oh, girl, let me see your bag. Your bag is popping. Let me see this. I didn't really care. Like, I didn't really care that much for the bag. But I'm like, I was happy for her. But the thing that like triggered me was when she had the nerve, this girl had the nerve to put a lock on this bag. Like, Sharon said that we're gonna steal something. Like, first of all, you have your homework, I have my homework. What I'm gonna do, steal your homework and do it? Like, no, I'm not gonna steal anything from your bag. And she never had anything valuable. It was just her books and her snacks, and I had my own snacks. So it's not like, ah, why is she not feeling like? But unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunately for my friend Izzy, Boo Boo forgot her key for the lock in her desk in the class. I went home, I could not do her homework. So the next day, my dad, I, I did not take the school bus. My dad dropped me off at school early because I think, I don't know what happened with it. The bus was late or something like that. But we'll forget about it. It's not that important. So my mom, my, my mom, my dad dropped me off at, at school. So I went to class and another, I forgot the dude that was talking to me and he was like, oh, I just saw Izzy's key. I think she forgot her key and she went home with her bag and it was locked. So I'm thinking like, oh, it's not a big deal because I mean, she went home with her uh, backpack locked and she has to do her homework. Her parents would just break the lock for so she can get in. But I guess she was so scared that she didn't tell her parents that what she did, that she left the locks, I, I mean, the key for the lock in her desk at school. So she didn't tell them anything. So she didn't do her homework. So I'm thinking like, okay, it's not a big deal. Then I don't know. Then the, I don't know if it was like, should I say the pettiness in me? He just said, ding, 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 ding. I shall take that key. I was like, okay, I'll take the key. So I took the key in front of my friends. So they didn't even, like, they saw me. I'm like, they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, I just want to take it just to take it. And they just, I mean, we're little, we're young. They just let me take the key. So I took the key. And I was like, I didn't even know what I was going to do with her. I, I thought, like, okay, maybe she would do her homework. I'm just like, oh, I found your key. But a homie came to class, Ellie, and she was like, crying. And I'm like, what's wrong? Like, I didn't even think, like, she would be crying because of her key that she left in the desk. So when she first came, she didn't really say anything to me. She just went to her desk to look for the key. When she was looking for the key, she couldn't find it. She was just like, getting panicky. She was like, Asha, did you see my key? And I was like, nope. I know that's wrong, right? That's wrong. And I was like, no, I didn't see your key. And she was like, I was like, what's wrong? Like, what's the problem? And she was like, I left my key in my desk. I went home. I didn't do my homework. And I didn't tell my parents. I didn't, like, my key was here. Like, didn't even know, like, I put the, a lock on the key. She like, she literally did that on her own. 
or maybe she didn't order. Maybe she like they were aware of the of the lot. I was not. She asked me, and I said, "No, me. The key was with me. It was inside my desk." And I was like, "I won't give. I won't give this kid this key because the way she's the way she was doing so pay me. I'm like, ah, ah. Now when you first get mama, we go America. So she was not like." I should raise the key. I mean, did you see my key? And I was like, no, I didn't see your key. And she was crying. She was like, I didn't do my homework. And we, the teachers, if you don't do your homework, you're going to get a butt whooping. Like, just just face it. And she was panicking, panicking. She was not crying. Like, where's my key? Where's my key? Where's my key? After, after I let her, I, as in, I wanted her to cry. I wanted her to cry very well. And I know that saying this makes me like look like a mean person. But it's just like one of those things. It's like, if you were there, you saw how she was with the bag. And how she like was feeling like she was on top of the world because she had a fancy bag from America. You will not understand why I was like this. It's, it's like, it was just like, I'm like, let her learn. I want to, I want to teach her a lesson. Like, I want to teach her a lesson. So like, whenever she thinks of that bag, she will never do such, something like that. She will never brag in her life again. So, I let her cry for like a good, not, I want to say five minutes. Like, we went to assembly. She was crying in assembly. Teacher asked her what was wrong. She could not even say what she was wrong because she knows that when she says, I did not do my homework, they will still flog her. We went, we came back from assembly about to start the first lecture. Auntie could not open her bag to collect her notebook to write notes. And if you don't write notes too, still problem, they will still flog you. So it's not like ah, she was crying, she was crying, she was crying. I don't know when I just auntie just told me like, okay, Asha, be nice, be nice, be nice. The nice seminar came out. I'm like, okay. So when she was looking for the key, I don't know how I did it, but she was looking for a key. And I just like I was planning to look for the key too, even though I had the key. And I don't know, I just like I was like, how would I tell her this? How would I tell her that I have the key without her thinking like this girl had my key the whole time like and like make me and then she'll get mad at me and we'll start fighting and then they'll be like because i know what i did was not right but at the same time i was like i want to teach her a lesson i don't know how i did it i just remember i was just like i took the key from under my desk i put it in my hand for a while i was hiding i was just pretending to look i'm like so the key was in my hand i was just looking around like okay where's this girl's key where's this girl's key and when she was not when she was open, i put the and i was like and i put the key on the floor and i picked it up and i was like wait it's easy is this the key I'm looking for? She was like, oh my god, take it away, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. She was so happy, she was just like, hugging me, doing like, you're the best. And then I was like, she didn't realize that that same spot I said I found the key was the same spot. She looked for the key and she didn't see it. But I guess because we're young, she didn't, she like, we didn't, I, I think like, common sense is not common among, I'm not trying to diss my friend, like, I love her. But I'm saying like, we both, because me, me saying that I found the key in the same spot that she looked, also shows I didn't have common sense then. And then she actually believing that I found the kid in the same spot that she looked at shows that she didn't also have common sense then. I mean, I'm trying to like diss her or anything, but like, I love my girl. Like, I love you, boo. But so it's like, she's like, oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. She's like, where did you find it? I'm like, I just, I was just looking, I just found underneath my chair. And she was like, oh, okay. And she was, she was really happy to find the key. But y'all, like, she, like, ever since that day, ever since that very day, the next day she came to class. Tell me if that lock was in that bag. Until remove lock. So I can say that in life, I've played a very good role in it. Like every day you see me is there. Suppose you put suppose lie down and dig well for me. I can say that I've taught her how to be humble and sit down. <laughs> you like what I did there? But yeah. Because if not for that, I said I taught her. Who knows that key will still, I mean that lock will still be on that bag. And she will still be doing mm, 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 my, my American bag, my American bag, my American bag. Maybe the America we can't day inside now. Waiting on this special about the America. You know what I'm saying? I was just really petty and I don't know why I'm petty. I mean, sometimes it's funny, just to mess with people. I mean, I mean why not? <laughs> what you gonna, you got something to say? What you wanna say? Exactly what I thought. Shut it up. I, I can say that I have played a huge role or it have a huge impact. In her life she might not agree oh. i'm just making much her. she knows i love her and she loves me too but i just feel like you need a takeaway in your life i am proud to say that as an elder i'm older than her too so as an elder i can say that yes i taught her a very good lesson and that ever since that day she came to class and the same bag did not have the lock the key vanished the third day, she used a different bag. The regular bags we're all using in Nigeria that we import from China or wherever we put our bags from. So let's just say that Asha played a very important role, or Take Care played a very important role in her life. And if you want to learn a good lesson or two, I mean, you can employ me to be pets in your life, and I can teach you, I can teach you lessons, and you learn how to be humble and sit down. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But that's the end of the story time. But please check out our channel. Our channel name is called Rare is Beautiful. I'm going to put the link in this video so you guys can check out the channel. I'm also going to put the link to the bag. But until next time, see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Share the video with everybody. Everybody. When I say everybody, everybody. Your ex. <laughs>
your friends, your haters, your enemies, your pastor, any anybody, anybody you come across, any any stranger you see, just share the video, share it. Let us support this ministry. You know what I'm saying? Like, help me help you. Okay? Thank you. And until then, see you next time. Bye.